Today we are taking y'all to Spruce Pine. Um, we're about, it's an 18 mile drive only from our house in Marion. We've got a bunch of donations we're gonna take with us and we're gonna get some imagery to show you guys what it's like. Yeah. And this is what the... What, you can't try to count days? 67th we're day. We're over 60 days, yeah. yeah. We're gonna try to get some people some warm stuff. We just got like a... We got nice new warm coats. We got hats, gloves, scarves. We got some charcoal and a charcoal grill. We got uh, some cleaning stuff. A ton of sleeping bags. Yeah. Thermal clothes. Zero degre degree sleeping bags. <laughs> Make this little drive and we'll take y'all with us to see what it's like in Spruce Pine right now. You've probably heard the name of the place and everything, so we'll see what it's looking like. But this is the... Uh, Quartz Court. Go across the street and see what the water looks like. It appears a decent job was done at cleaning up here. Because all this was washed out and that's all that's left there. But, you know, there's some building materials there and parts of a dresser that was somebody's home. Um, yeah, this was broken apart. Just think of the force that it took for that to happen wow this shows you that the height how high the uh, water got here because it took that wall out I'm right here at the tow river but as you can see the water is green I think this is the area where they say in the morning it glows I don't know if you can see that odd green color right there I'm trying to focus um, that's not what it looked like before. It was totally clear. And you're hearing uh, helicopters, or at least one helicopter, one private plane. But that shows you the strength and the redirection of the water. Um, it came, I don't know if you could tell how high up I am. That is about, I'd say a 15, 20 foot drop. So it came up from there came uh, 30 yards then up over that and wiped this wall out went on about its way right there obviously took some trees out while I was at it that shows you the height too remarkably powerful and the um, smell here can't really describe it it's similar to what's down by the Greenway in Marion. Kind of a mix of a uh, chemical and earthy as well. It's not pleasant. See, I'm trying to put this in perspective for people. The river is, I don't know, a few hundred yards on the other side of this uh, house or this building here. And this is one heck of a drop from the road meaning that water got high enough to be at the top of a third story building or a landslide did which is very possible now that I'm seeing it probable mudslide landslide and what's interesting about that is the uh, water would have had to go up all the way up there and cause that slide um, unless there's a small tributary up there that I haven't seen on the map I'll have a look and see I guess up here is what they consider a base camp I think that's the terminology camp unity is where we are yeah I got a couple lines there too yeah we can now we're gonna try to see if anybody needs anything well, we're pulling out of Camp Unity. They didn't need uh, any supplies because all the smaller ones that are shutting down for the winter. Um, They're giving them all their stuff. Yep. So we're going to see if we can find any individuals or anything that need anything. But this place is just, I mean, it's, I don't know how many tents are in there, but it's a lot. Yeah, it's a, yeah it looks like uh, things got kind of tore up here. Um, you can see it coming up the hill from uh, I believe where the stream is there I don't even think it's a river and it got this high up here in this holler and oh, there is a beautiful view 
of the mountains there. Uh, we're near Mount Mitchell, but I think that's the other direction. A huge drop down here. So we're kind of up a holler here. Daniel's kind of nervous. That, uh, it's pretty steep around here. This is the kind of stuff here that you go by it and you don't really realize what you're looking at. All those trees there, all those, I mean, some of them get up to, I don't know, I'll venture to guess, 60, 80 foot. Um, they're all laid down. It's pretty incredible. Um, it came up from down there, but we're pretty far elevated from the river. Yeah, so here's a roof that was uh, caved in by trees and I bet you this trailer here was pushed from elsewhere. That roof there was destroyed, so that tells me that it's probably going to be more here around the bend that's not great. Yeah, and on top of that roof being caved in, this one was just, oh man, the pole barn there is pretty done in too. Damn. It's yet another place where you can't even picture how the water got to it, you know. They've got a little kind of pond here, but this isn't, you know, much water. Yeah. Yeah, see the amount that, man, that took some power to take out that piece of road. And they've cleaned a lot of this up. Remember, this is what, 67 days? Yeah, about that. And these are the, well, that's probably a waste pipe or storm drain or something. Mm -hmm. It's vaguely familiar to have a positive feeling when looking at my surroundings. Look at this. We are in the middle of just beautiful mountains. Um, this church is up on a very steep hill in between all the mountains here and I may be butchering the pronunciation of it but it's the Estatio Church I think. I thought I'd get some positive imagery. You know I'm crazy that says explosive supply? Either way. So you can see where uh, they're having to re-channel the river over here. There's a lot of work going on here. They're in the phase of rebuilding things and repairing things, and it's pretty impressive how much they're all coming together to do it. There's another roof destroyed there, and I'd imagine there's some damage up there, but I'm not gonna bother the people. I had to walk back down here to show that, yes, they're rechanneling over there, but the reason they're having to rechannel is because that's not supposed to be there. This river is supposed to go through there. It's dried up there and now somehow relocated over there and goes this way. Wow. Just that. The way that it just rips up metal, too. Seeing a lot of that. So that's a hot tent. It's got the stove right there and they're just setting it up. So we're going to leave some uh, sleeping bags and stuff here. This looks to be, I mean, uh, I think it's a fire department. Uh, got some hot tent and a couple of probably supply tents and RV. Those containers are probably just full of water and stuff like that. Storage. Those are basically just all waters and stuff over there. Got some hot tents. Could just be for people working over here. The amount of trees down the parkway must have been incredible. It's just unbelievable the amount that have had to be cut up and put on the side of the road. You drive for miles and they're everywhere. Well, we visited a decent amount of spruce pine there and uh, hope we got enough footage to show everyone that they've done a, an amazing job cleaning the stuff up. But it was a uh, 22 degrees it's a real feel of 12 yeah 12 
So needless to say, we left a whole bunch of blankets and thermals. Degree sleeping bags. Yeah, stuff like that. And uh, we did that uh, at, at Halltown Road and 226 South. Uh, there's a really cool guy there and his wife yeah. who were up from Fayetteville. And um, what was his name? David Stentz. Yeah, David Stentz. And uh, yeah, they, they got stuff to 150 people yesterday. And that's what it's been, about 150 people a day. Um, mostly uh, different people coming through in need. It was nice to get some stuff to somebody and meet somebody who's really out there working and, and putting in the effort and everything. Yeah, when all the hubs are starting to close too, you know, they're going to be there till spring for the long haul, so that's really nice. And, so we'll uh, bring them more stuff. The other important thing to know is that uh, over the, every, they've been out there a while, and since the election, everybody's had a more upbeat uh, demeanor. Yeah, the morale's been, been higher. <laughs> they feel more positive spring. about things, and you know, they feel better about maybe their small businesses that they're rebuilding and things like that. So, and this was out of this person's mouth. We're not just saying yeah. it. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's a really cool little town. And I, uh, I would say go there and visit it if you're in the area and spend, spend some money. Some local money, yeah. Yeah, there's local businesses that are that are still open there. It's still a beautiful place nice for Christmas. Nice restaurants. Yeah, it's really it's really known uh, as a place that people go uh, Christmas time. So go check it out. There's lots of cool little shops and stuff too. And uh, I feel a little better after meeting somebody who's out there really working hard. Yeah. And, and uh, there, there's several uh, building camps too, mm -hmm. to where they're going out and they're fixing people's floors and, and they're, they're fixing their houses. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a long process, but a lot of people are in it for the long haul, so. Including us. Yeah, yeah, a little bit we can do, we'll do it. Yeah, David, uh, Trip, uh, his wife, yeah. Yeah, Stents, his wife, Billy, gave us these rocks, which are pretty cool. Um, Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. This is. Come. And Danielle's got one that says, you know, Jesus, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. Look how rock is that one. Yeah, they're really cool. They're pretty. Uh, it's a cool gesture. So that was cool to get. You like those? Yeah. Yeah.